Dick Van Dyke Show. Starring Dick Van Dyke. Rosemary, Maury Amsterdam, Larry Matthew, and Mary Tyler Moore. Hey, honey, what is this junk? It's a new recipe for leftovers. Oh, where'd you get the recipe? On the back of a box of pepper. <laughs> you want some water? I thought so. Hurry, darling. Oh, boy. Oh, yeah. Hello? Oh, hi, Sal. What's up? No, uh, Laura? Yeah, she's right here. Just a second. She's recovering from her recipe. Hi, Sally. Uh, hi, Laura. Is Rob there? Oh, well, I thought you wanted to talk to me. I do, but I mean, uh, uh, can he hear us? Sally, what's the matter? I'm at the Marlowe Galleries on 57th Street. A new art show started this week. So? Uh, ham and cheese all right, okay? Yeah, and hold the pepper, will you? Now, what'd you say, Sally? Well, there's a picture here you just wouldn't believe. Of what? Well, if I didn't know better, I'd swear it was you. Me? Well, that's funny. It's not so funny, Laura. <laughs> to know a painter by the name of Sergei Carpentner? You want any mustard on yours? Laura. Laura? You want any mustard? Uh, yes. You do know him? Well, how about mayonnaise? No, no. You don't know him? <laughs> yeah, 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 yes, I do. I, you better make your own sandwich. <laughs> Listen, did he ever paint a picture of you? <laughs> Laura. Did he ever paint a picture of you? <clears throat> yeah, yes, he did. <clears throat> Can't believe it. Listen, Sally, if it's the one I think it is, I can explain. If you have to explain, it's the one you think it is. things, but this one, that, there's something about it that's really beautiful. Oh, Henry, look, this is the one I was telling you about, October Eve. Oh, it is lovely. It must be from his early period. Yes, uh, let, let's see. Ah, oh, yes, here. October Eve. Carpetna's inspiration for this work was his feeling that only in autumn, the evening of the year when nature sheds its outer superficial covering, does the world show its true inner beauty. <laughs> A perfect example of the genius of his early period. Yes, it certainly is. His skin tones are so alive and natural looking. <laughs> Laura, everyone seems to love it. I hate it. Okay, okay, let's have the whole story. But before you start, I want you to know one thing. What? I believe you. <laughs> Rob always said that he wanted a painting of me. And so when we first moved to New York, I decided to have one done. Like that? Sally! <laughs> anyway, a friend of mine used to go with this painter. He was unknown, but good, and a little eccentric, but good. And this painter was uh, Carpetna. Right. Anyway, I went down to his studio in Greenwich Village to pose for him. In slacks, a sweater, and a scarf. Slack sweater and a scarf? Go ahead, I still believe you. <laughs> well, anyway, I... Not here, it's too crowded. <laughs> oh, I'm not worried about it. I'm just annoyed that I can't figure it out. Because everything was fine until Sally called. And something about Sally's call upset Laura. Maybe she called collect. <laughs> Now, Sally told Laura something, and then she began to act peculiar. You know, when I asked her what was the matter, she said nothing. Boy, when a woman says nothing, it means something. From that minute on, the whole evening was shot. And then this morning, Sally calls up and tells you she's going to be late. Now, those two are up to something, and I don't know what it is. It's not my birthday, not my anniversary. Hey, Sally got a new fella. 
Well, now, why should that concern Laura? Maybe she got a new fella for Laura. <laughs> you know, I just figured something out. What? In a situation like this, you're absolutely useless. Well, why should that concern Laura? <laughs> Holy mackerel. Holy mackerel, all right. But I thought you said you ruined it. It doesn't look ruined. Well, I tried to destroy it, but he fixed it. He retouched it. And you never told Rob. Well, we were practically newlyweds, and I was embarrassed. Well, who would think it would ever turn up here or anywhere? Yeah. Well, I'm going to have to tell him. I mean, people we know are bound to see it. You saw it. And Rob comes in here an awful lot. Well, he'll understand. You did. Yeah, but Laura, I'm not your husband. <laughs> With knowing Rob, the only thing he could possibly be upset about is that I didn't tell him about it when it happened. The only thing? Yes! <laughs> Good, uh, good dinner, honey. <laughs> this is a lot better than the pepper stuff we had. <laughs> uh, wasn't that awful? <laughs> I mean, that was just so awful. Oh, boy. <laughs> uh, I mean, that really was <laughs> <It> awful. Was... <laughs> <laughs> Sally uh, came in this morning and said you two had a lot of fun. Oh, yes, oh, a lot of fun. Mm. I couldn't understand how you could spend an entire morning in a yarn shop like this. Oh, well, Rob, they have such yarns today, darling. You could just <laughs> spend a whole week in the store making up your mind. The reds and the blues and the mohairs. Okay, that does it. That's enough. What? Sally didn't say anything to me about going to a yarn shop. Oh. Now, what are you two up to? What do you mean? Oh, come on, honey. I'm dying to find out what's going on. And I'm dying to tell you, Rob. I just don't know how. Honey, there's nothing the matter with you. You're not going to have another... Oh, uh, Rob. <laughs> Would Sally call and tell me that? <laughs> Rob, do you remember when we were first married, you bought me a black sweater and pants and... You... Yeah. You remember you said you'd like to have a painting of me in that outfit you, so you could hang it in your den? You having a portrait done in it? Do you still have that outfit? No, Rob, I'm not having a portrait done. I already had one done. Where are you hiding it, honey? Well, Rob, would you just let me tell the story? Oh, I'm, yeah, I'm just helping. Well, you're not. <laughs> anyway, this friend of mine, Gloria Edwards, remember? Yeah. Had a friend who was a painter. So I went to him. I never knew that. Well, I wanted it to be a surprise. And anyway, I went to his studio and posed for him for weeks. I was so excited I could hardly sit still waiting for it to be finished. <laughs> Darling, don't look. <laughs> oh, Sergey, I can't wait to see it. What is you your way, darling? Now, don't move. My husband is going to be so excited. That peasant, what does he know? Jokes he writes for Milton Berle. No, Alan Brady. What's the difference? He's a jolly jokester, a peasant. You should kiss the ground of a girl like you. Well, I love him. So you're a peasant, too. <laughs> hey, when are you and Gloria going to get married? If I'm lucky, never. <laughs> She's not good enough for me. You know what your problem is? You're just too much in love with yourself. Right. And even I'm not good enough for me. <laughs> well, I feel sorry for Gloria. And I feel sorry for the Mona Lisa. When she sees this, she wouldn't smile no more. <laughs> Could I move? You can move, jump, do somersaults, anything you want. You mean it's finished? Except for the most important thing? God. <laughs> I'm so excited, I'm almost afraid to look. Don't be afraid. You're never more beautiful. Oh, that Petri's a lucky peasant. For 50 lousy bucks, I've made you immortal. <laughs> come, darling, come. Come, and we look at my lovely portrait of Lorishka. Huh? What? <laughs> what? I'm 
a genius. I can do anything. And besides, I don't like the tone of your voice. What? What? Who? Ah, what is that? What? what that's not me. I mean, not the way I was standing over there. <laughs> that is more you standing there than when you were standing there. How do you look like you know what you were standing there? Were you standing here? No, you were there. I was here. I didn't look like that. Did you have a mirror? No, of course not. I don't need a mirror. True. All a mirror shows is the outside of a person. The true mirror of a person is in the eyes and the brush of the artist. And this, my darling, is the way I saw you. You know what you are? You're, you're just evil. Evil? <laughs> evil is in the mind of the beholder. <coughs> if you see evil in this painting, then more's the pity for you. There's no evil here. No. Look, all right, I don't want to argue with you. Just fix it. Fix it? Yes, fix it. You just put... You know what I mean. I know, fix it. You mean ruin it. No, no, this picture is finished, signed, complete, finished. I wanted a painting for Rob, a picture of me, exactly the way I look in this outfit. For that kind of a picture, you take a camera, you go to Central Park, you get on a pony and snap your brains out. <laughs> you, you, you wanted a painting? A painting you got. I don't want that. I wouldn't let Rob see that in a million years. And neither would I. I painted you as a goddess, and you're acting like a peasant. All right, look, just tear it up. Hmm? Tear it up? Yes, tear it tear up. Tear it up? I would rather tear myself up. All right, lady, listen, my little darling lady girl woman. Outside, back to New Rochelle, the land of the peasants. Goodbye, lady peasant. Tear it up. A piece of art you don't tear up. Evil. So what did you do? What? 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 You crazy for What the shit? What? What? I'll wipe it up. <laughs> he, he painted a picture of you. <laughs> Honey, I think it's funny, really. I don't see why you were so nervous about telling me about it. Well, Rob, you see, Sally. Well, Sally. Sally met Carpenter. That's it, of course. And she mentioned the Alan Brady show. He made the connection right away and told her the whole story, right? Well, in a I, way... You shouldn't be so upset for crying out loud. I understand completely. And the point is, you didn't do anything wrong. For that matter, neither did he. The guy's an artist, you know? I mean, even if he did paint you that way. Rob. Boy, I, I, in a way, I'm kind of sorry you destroyed it. I would have loved to have seen that picture. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine Sally meeting the painter? Boy, it's a small world. Oh, Rob, Sally didn't meet the painter. Huh? She met the painting. Huh? <laughs> she saw the painting. Well, I, th I thought you, uh... So did I, Rob, but he fixed it. Where did, where did he see it? In an art gallery. I saw it, too. Oh, well, little places down in Greenwich Village, huh? No, one of those big places on 57th Street. <laughs> No kidding, huh? He, he, must, he, he must be a pretty big artist. Yeah. Yeah. Well, how do you like that? My little Laura inspired him. <laughs> Honey, he'll probably cut off his ear and send it to you. <laughs> oh, Rob, I'm so sorry. Honey, stop. Now, there's nothing to be sorry about. Oh, Rob, wait till you see that picture. It's, that's what it is, honey. It's just a picture. It's a painting. It's art, and art is art. Yeah, well, it may be art, but it's also me. Oh, I hope they sell it fast so it's out of that gallery and out of sight. Well, honey, if, you're, if he's as good as you say, he probably will, and the whole thing will be over with. Oh, I hope so. Listen, don't worry about it anymore. Oh, Rob, you're so understanding. That's what we're here for. Now, look, go in and <laughs> splice some water on your face and feel better. I wish I'd told you this last night so I could have gotten some sleep. Well, that's what we're here for. I love you. <laughs> Just relax about it.
why don't, why don't you do that one over there? Why? Well, I'm, I'm doing this one. Good <laughs> uh, afternoon. Oh, good afternoon. Good afternoon. I couldn't help noticing that since you've come in here, you looked at nothing else but my October Eve. Well, I, 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 is that you did that? I said a couple of that. Oh, you're, oh, you're the perpetrator of this painting, huh? Well, I've never heard it quite expressed that way, but I guess I am, yes. Uh, I noticed you're making a sketch of it. You like it very much, eh? Oh, what's, what, what's not to like? I mean, there's nothing there to get upset about. You're a very unusual way of expressing yourself about art. Yeah, so do you. <laughs> I suppose you, uh, you use a real, uh, live uh, person. Oh, yes, it's much easier than to build one. <laughs> Who, uh, who uh, is she? Oh, I'm sorry, I don't divulge. Oh, that's wonderful. You're, you're an artist and, a, and a, you're a fine gentleman. Well, an artist, yes, the gentleman, I don't know, but we never tell who our models are. There's no point to it. She was a beautiful girl, a good study, but uh, an artist sometimes sees things that aren't there. Yeah, and, and, and misses some that are. <laughs> <laughs> how, uh, how, how uh, much is she? Oh, this painting is five thousand dollars. Five, five, uh, uh, well, that's a, that's a lot of uh, money. Well, I've already had three offers for it. Three? Mm-hmm. There's a South American millionaire wants it for his mansion on top of a mountain in Brazil. That's a wonderful place for it. <laughs> David Schumann wants it, too. What, the producer? Yes, he wants to hang it in the lobbies of his theaters. And the, the World's Fair wants it. The World's Fair? They want to hang it in the Art Pavilion. The Art Pavilion. <laughs> I, I would not like to influence your, uh, your decision, of course, but I, I think it would uh, be a great place for it up on that mountain in Brazil. <laughs> There's only one thing that will really influence my decision. What is, what is that? Money. Yes. <laughs> the first one to offer more than $5,000 gets it. Oh. oh. Yes, pardon me a moment. Oh, you? yes. Uh, I vote for that guy in Brazil. <laughs> What? What? Melkul, you son of a... <laughs> what are you shouting hey, about? Well, look at that. Isn't that yellow painting beautiful? <laughs> What's the matter with you, well, Rob? I'm just glad to see you, Mel. Well, well, you, you saw me 20 minutes ago in the office. What are you, what are you doing here? Well, uh, you think you're the only art lover in the, on the Alan Brady show? <laughs> and look at that yellow. The blue one. There's that junk. It's junk, isn't it? Rob, <laughs> What is the matter with you? Nothing, Mel. I, uh, I'm worried. About, I'm about that uh, that meeting this afternoon. Meeting? What meeting? At 1.30 with the sponsor. Didn't they tell you about well, that? I'm, my secretary's going to get... Are you sure? I'm sure. We're all due there. Are you sure? Rob, R Rob, you're hurting my arm. Yeah, we better go. Rob. It's almost that time now, Mel. Rob. Come on. We Rob, taxi! You're my arm. Taxi! <laughs> That's my wife up there. Rob, look, no matter how we feel about it, we cannot afford $5,000 for a painting. $5,000 plus. Remember, there are three other guys we got to outbid? And I could have had it for $50. Oh, boy, you should have paid him, grabbed the painting, and run. I did pay him. You paid him for the painting? Yes, I had to. He needed the money for canvases and paints. I paid him. You didn't get your money back? No, I just ran. Did you get a receipt? I had one. It was hand-painted, but I threw it away. That doesn't make any difference, honey. The fact of the matter is, we own that painting. Well, we don't have the receipt. He doesn't know that. Do you think we can force him to give it to us and sue him or we'll something? We'll sue him. You know how. You, would you like to have that in the courtroom as Exhibit A? <laughs> well, what then? I, I don't know, honey, but I, all I know, tomorrow's going to be round one of the painter meets the peasant. <laughs> Right. Oh. <laughs> oh, my funny fucking friend. What are you doing here? Uh, well, uh, you were at the gallery. They told me you might uh, be here. You, uh, you live here? I used to. Now I only paint here. <laughs> Who could live in a pig style like this? <laughs> but uh, what can I do for you, my friend? Uh, my name is Robert Petrie. So? Laura Petrie's husband. 
Laura Petri. October Eve. <laughs> oh, ho, 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 Lorishka! Yeah. Oh, no wonder you were staring at that painting. Oh, look, my friend, if you come here to punch me or to strangle me, forget it. There was nothing between us. Nothing. I know that. She told me. Oh, good. Uh, you are perhaps interested in buying the painting? Well, as a matter of fact, Mr. Carpenter, I don't have to uh, do that. I already own the painting. Uh, again, you're talking crazy. <laughs> you see, my wife, Laura, paid you $50 for that painting. Fifty dollars for an original carpet? That's ridiculous. Well, that's when you were painting and uh, living here. I know what it was. It's still ridiculous. Uh, you say she she paid me for it? Yes, as a matter of fact, she has a beautiful hand-painted uh, receipt. Yes, that's what I used to give. You'd be surprised how much they're selling those receipts for now. <laughs> well, I don't care about that. I don't care. You don't care. You come here to claim a $5,000 painting for $50? I could fight you on this. Well, not if you're reasonable. Now, look, my wife and I both think it's a, a beautiful painting. Is We're just a little uncomfortable having it around. And you want to get it so you can destroy it? Well... Never! I wouldn't allow it, sir. You do not destroy my paintings. I would rather knock you in the head than allow you to do that. Well, and a piece of art is not destroyed. Oh, just, it just, is not wait, destroyed. Now, calm down. Never mind, calm down. You don't destroy art. Now, look, all, all I want to say is it would be a crime to destroy a beautiful painting like that. It would also be a crime to deprive you of the money you've struggled so hard to earn with your work. That was a very good sentence. <laughs> come, on. come on, continue, continue. Well, all we r really want for our $50 ownership is the right to uh, choose which one of your offers you accept. Petri, you're an unusual man. Petri, you're not a peasant. Where do you want the painting to go? You remember that fella in Brazil with a mansion on top of the mountain? I like to see October Eve. Like it at wings. It's off to Brazil, flying to the mountain top. <laughs> You're all right, Petri. Hey, I bet you know art. Come, tell me. Tell me, what do you think of this painting? Uh, huh? Huh? Uh, well, uh, to be honest with you, <laughs> I don't like it. You don't like it? I, I don't like it. You're right, it's junk, garbage. <laughs> it's peasant garbage. I try a new technique, but it's nothing. It's just for fun. You can't beat brushes. Yeah. Come on, Petri, we have some fun. Let's kill us a painting. You, really? Sure, go ahead. <laughs> hey, you hey, made hey, Dallas, you fun. know. That. Hey, look, 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 wait, wait. Look what you made here. You made me deaf, that's what you made. <laughs> You're looking again. Oh. I just can't wait. When you're getting an original carpenter for fifty dollars, you'll wait. <laughs> well, I must say, uh, it's very, very generous of you. Generous deserves generous. Come. Hmm? Hmm? Hi. Uh -oh. Hey, that really is something, isn't it? You mean you are still upset that I paint you as I see you? No, no. If that's the way you see me, then. That's the way oh, you see me. But, but that is you. Isn't that hard? Well, yeah, honey, I think it looks a lot like you there, especially right around the noses. <laughs> That's your nose. 